All right, now this is actually my second attempt. I don't know where my opener uh, was, but due to injuries, I opened up at 600 pounds. So right here, we jumped it up to 650. Uh, let's see how this moves here. And it moves okay, it was pretty easy. I just wanted to make sure I didn't bomb out the meat. I had second guess this lift. I was supposed to open up at 650 but I've changed to 600. Well, here I go with 700 pounds. This is the most I've squatted um, in months, and I decided to go for it, YOLO it, and uh, it actually felt pretty good. Um, so it gave me a little confidence going forward. And, and up. I probably was good for about 720 um, based on the actual lift, though. All right. Uh, this meat moved pretty fast. Also had trepidation about this lift as well. I decided to go with 578, tried to change it last minute, they wouldn't do it. So here I am stuck with a 578 opener, um, and here we go. And uh, it was pretty easy. Um, I was a little scared because my, my warm-ups moved pretty slow. Um, this right here was the gem of the meat. Um, also put me in the all-time record books uh, with a 600-pound bench press. Um, also was a world record for a drug tested meat, which the previous record was for Matt Baller at 585, and here I go with 600 pounds. Um, if you notice, they held me at the top for three seconds and at the bottom for two seconds, which is probably one of the longer pause that you're about to see for a 600 pound bench press. Um, now right here is where I get stapled uh, with 612 pounds. It just wasn't going to happen. All right, here's my opener, um, 700 pounds. Uh, this moved okay, but I actually fell forward a little bit on this. I was actually surprised they gave that one to me based on how it moved. All right, here we go, 738. Uh, this moved pretty good, too. Actually, it was a lot better than an opener. Uh, so that secured uh, 2,038 total, and this right here is 750 pounds, 55 pounds which secures a 2,055 pound total, which is the all-time PR for me. All right, well, thank you guys. Later.